Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. So I wanted to show you these really cool slides that uh, this company Vandania sent me for a product review video. So these slides are 250 pound ball bearing full extension locking drawer slides. They're kind of nice because not only are they 250 pounds instead of 500 pounds, they're also smaller, they're only about two inches in height versus normally the 500 pound ones are three inches in height and weigh a lot more because there's a lot more steel involved. So as I said, they're removable locking drawer slides, which is pretty rare to find nowadays. The way they are removable is click the blue tab, pull the inner rail. As you're holding down the blue tab, keep pulling, 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 and it'll pull the inner rail all the way out. Much easier for installation, which I like. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install them and tell you a little bit about this product. This is the Vandania 2053 drawer slide. So at the moment, I'm working on a Land Cruiser SUV dual drawer system for my business here. And I just wanna show you how these drawer slides work, insulation, and some dimensions you're gonna need before cutting all your material. So first things first, you can see how much room I have here and how large the drawer box is. So these drawer slides, you will need to have three quarter inch space here to install these drawer slides. So you want three quarters on each side of your drawer box. So for instance, if this dimension from here to here is 20 inches, you're gonna to wanna to cut your drawer box at 18 and a half inches to allow three quarters on each side for the thickness of the drawer slides. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take dimension of your drawer slide and the drawer box to see where you're gonna mount the slide and rail. So if you look here, I am gonna measure how far it is to the center of this hole. So since these drawer slides are two inches thick, as you can see, it's one inch to the center of that inner rail hole. So these drawer slides, I'm actually gonna mount on the bottom of this box, and the rail will be mounted onto the drawer box here, as you can see. I'll be mounting the inner rail on this side of the drawer box. And then same thing on the other side of the drawer box. Let me show you how I'm gonna mark that real quick. So, as I said in the previous video, from the bottom of the drawer slide to the center hole of the inner rail is one inch. So what I'm actually gonna do is mark up three quarters of an inch. So mark there, so mark here. I'm allowing an extra quarter inch underneath my drawer box so it doesn't slide on the bottom of this SUV uh, drawer system. I do that so you don't pull the drawer slide all the way out and with the weight inside of it, it doesn't get stuck and not able to slide back in. So I have my two marks here at three quarter. Now I'm gonna draw a straight line all the way down. So here's my straight edge, marking at three quarter. Spin you around. All the way down. I'm gonna double check that we're at three quarter. Perfect. Another piece of information you wanna be aware of is mounting these slides flush with the front of your box. And as you can see, the inner rail is a half an inch back from the front. So when I'm coming up here, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that this dimension right here is a half an inch. So let me measure that real quick. Put this back on there. All right, so now you can barely see my little line right in here. You see my half inch line. I'm gonna move this onto the line and make sure that that is in the center of the holes. Now for this application, I'm actually using a three quarter inch truss screw, the Phillips head, and I am mounting them straight through the drawer guide into the drawer box. You need to use the appropriate screw for whatever application you're attaching your drawer slides to. Um, I am using a wood truss screw because I'm obviously going into wood. I'm using three quarter inch because I don't want the screw to poke all the way through the material. If you can see there, I have just a little bit extra room, but once you add the drawer slide, it should come out to about here. 
So if you're using metal, I would obviously um, recommend self-tapping metal screws, like an M6 size, or some uh, furniture bolts, or a, a short bolt and nut. Depending on what your application is, you need to use the appropriate um, attachment screws or bolts. As for attaching the outer rail to your box, what I like to do is flush up the front, as you can see here, nothing hanging over. And then I'll hold the outside rail while moving the inner part until I see an opening. Get the screw in there, make sure it's straight, and attach. There we go. Now you can see that the screw is inside of there, and I'll work my way all the way down. I'll probably put three or four screws in this rail. Once you get towards the end, you can actually slide the drawer slide as far as possible and it'll give you more options and a lot more room to screw it in. When installing the screws into the inner rail onto your drawer box here, make sure that you don't accidentally put a screw through here and land on top of this mechanism here, because that's what helps with the locking button. Now you see how it's really sticky. Make sure that your screws are far away from there, as you can see these are. Now, the locking button and system actually work. All right, here's my drawer box with the locking inner rails on it, as you can see. One side here, one side here. I've got my slides out, as you can see. I'll pick up my drawer box and I'll line up the outside rail, the inner rail, set it there for a second, line up the other side, let it slide in, you'll hear the click of the lock going back in, lock, now it's hit the middle section, you want to press down on your locking slides, push all the way in, sometimes the first time it's a little tough because it's locking and all the ball bearings are lining up. Now that's in, you can see that the drawer is locked. The drawer is not going anywhere, it's in a locked position. Now if I were to press on both locking slides, down, the drawer comes out, and now it's locked out as well. Then you're gonna have to press both locking slides, down, slide, the drawer back in and now it is also locked back in so this is the Vandania VD 2053 250 pound locking drawer slide they come in diff many different lengths and they're pretty simple to install as you can see the front of the drawer is flush the drawer slides now once you put a front on it we'll have enough room to click down and that is the start of one of my drawer systems